Okay, for those who don't know, Coco went for a CT scan today, and I've been a basket case over it for two weeks now. Anyways, she's okay. She's alive. I won't get the tests or any results for three days and then more results in five days. But the funny thing is that I was really worried about the general anesthesia, and the vet knew that. So she was really, she was, she, you know, she reassured me and told me, well, it's not that, it's not going to be that. It's just going to be the one where they inject her and then they inject her to wake her up again. So they go there to do the CT scan. They inject her. And she's like, no, I'm not, I'm not falling asleep. I'm going to fight this. So they were trying to get her to um, get her into position and they get her right in the position and she plop her head up and she would not go to sleep. She fought it tooth and nail. So they finally got her to sleep. I guess it like took like 45 minutes because that and normally it's supposed to be really quick, but she was really, really, really spicy. She hates being told what to do. Even if you're a doctor, she won't respect that at all. So then they finally get her to sleep. They get this beautiful picture and they give her the stuff to wake her up. And she's out like a light, like out, out, out. She wouldn't wake up. So of course it's um, kind of stressful. So it took them forever to wake up, wake her up. Like she would not wake up at all. And they, and um, they gave her fluids. They they set up a little warm spot for um, wake up shots. The vet did say that it's very safe what they were doing, but she was just being really difficult. <laughs> So she's at the clinic now and they are, she's slowly waking up. Oh yeah, she threw up too, so that wasn't good. So the vet wants to keep her overnight, which is fine with me. I'd rather be her be with professionals if she's having trouble. I asked if she had seen the, um, the results or the scan at all. And she said that, uh, no, she was too busy trying to get Coco to wake up. Anyway, so she's there now and they're gonna hand feed her that they felt like she could eat now. And three days I'll get some results and then five days I should have most of the results. And tomorrow I get to pick up Coco. So we can have her back in our flock. Okay, for those who don't know, Coco went for a CT scan today. And I've been a basket case over it. Uh, what are you doing? Oh no, 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 no,